Hello friends, welcome back to another story. This is Louis and Tabitha by Stephanie Campisi, illustrated by Holly Mangert. Louis and Tabitha. Louis was a cat about town, dashing, charming, perfectly suave. He lived unofficially at the fire station and had since a daring rescue involving a very small Louis, a very shrill smoke alarm, and a very tall house. His tail still had the scorch marks. Louis liked to go visiting as a society cat's do. Sometimes he'd travel in the fire truck. Everywhere he went, Louis was welcome with an open arms and leftovers. One night, after too much catnip and too many sardines, Louis was making his rounds when he took a wrong turn. He climbed the wall and saw Tapta, elegant, silky, perfectly sophisticated. Louis stopped. Tapita stared. It was love. Love from afar. Love under the spotlight of the moon. Love thwarted by a thick glass door. And by Tapita's owner, Shoo! she Shoo. cried. Shoo! Shoo! Louis shoot, but he wasn't done. The next morning, Tabitha stared out at a vast bouquet of garden things, sardine things, and twine and feathers. Louis smiled. Tabitha smiled. Tabitha Zona did not smile. Shoo, she cried. Shoo. Shoo. Louis shooed, but he wasn't done. The next day, he brought mice. The day after that, he brought pigeons. And after that, balloons, which is not easy when you are a cat. Each day, Louis and Tabitha stare into each other's eye until Tabitha's owner chasing Louis away. Louis needed advice. He asked his friends over a bowl of cream. You are an outside cat, said Mr. Pickles. And you need to be an inside cat, said Socks. Or at least look like one, said One Eye Winky. <laughs> Lost, Louis had an idea. The next day, Louis showed up at the Tapita's door once more. Louis smiled, Tapita smiled. Tapita Zona clutched her hands to her heart and opened the door. Louis was inside, where everything was soft and warm and scratchable, and Louis and Tabitha were inseparable. Until the doorbell rang, is this him? That's him. And Louis and Tabitha were thwarted by the thick glass door once more. Louis had a new home, and a new name, and a new owner, and all the sardines and cheese he could eat, but all he wanted was Tapita, and all Tapita wanted was Louis. It was love, love from afar, love from far to afar. Then the doorbell rang. Is this him? That's him. And that's not him. And Louis was a cat about town once more. Louis needed advice. He asked his friends over a bowl of cream. You are an outside cat, say Mr. Pickles. And she's an inside cat, say Socks. And that's just the way it is, one eye winky. So Louis went visiting as a society cat do. He went visiting all across town. 
Everywhere he went, he was welcomed with open arms and leftovers. And everywhere he went, Tapta wasn't until one night. Louis was riding in the fire truck when his tail began to tingle. Louis saw Tapita's elegant, silky, perfectly sophisticated, and in terrible danger. The siren began to wail. Everyone outside cried, the firefighters. The crowd was a cloud of arms and shrieks as it gathered on the corner. But there was no Tapita, and suddenly there was no Louis. The crowd waited and worried and fretted. Finally, the gray parted and from it emerged Louis and Tabitha, leading Tabitha's owner, the crowd cheering. Tabitha's owner plopped down on the curb and clutched her hands to her heart. She looked at Louis and Tabitha and smiled. The cat show judge placed a blue ribbon on Tabitha and the firefighters placed a gold medal on Louis and declared them both perfectly heroic. Louis was back inside where everything was soft and warm and scratchable. And Louis and Tabitha were inseparable.